How's it going guys? My name is Kevin. I'm a DP out of Orange County, California. Today, a little bit of a change of scenery. We are in my living room. My fiance has hijacked my office, which is totally okay because you know what? She's a lawyer and she handles matters that are a lot more important than uh, than this. Here's my little guy. This is Billy. He's He's chilling, he's taking a nap. All right, if you don't already know, I'm a baller on a budget and I'm always trying to look for ways to save money. The innovative cart is pretty pricey and so are all the accessories that help you make the most out of the cart. So hopefully you guys can make some use out of these. Today I'm breaking down five DIY hacks for your innovative camera cart that will end up saving you hundreds of dollars. Also, if you haven't already seen it, I made a cool video breaking down how I use my cart on set and how it fits into my production workflow. Link will be in the description. All right, I think that is all our household items. Let's party. All right, the first hack is the C-stand holders. So I have a background in music, which is what I went to college for, specifically playing drums. So as I thought about how I could make this happen, mounting heavier C-stands to a cart, I immediately envisioned some of the older clamps I used to use to mount different drum parts on my drum kit. So you'll notice the foundation of a lot of these DIYs and hacks are based around these simple and cheap drum parts, and they actually work really well. All parts will be linked in the description. I first needed to find a strong clamp that would mount to the vertical beams of the cart. I found these Gibraltar multi-clamps that are normally used on drum racks from when you're full sending like Terry Bozio. These clamps fit perfectly on the vertical beams and they have a right angle clamp for the holders. For the holders, I picked up the Gibraltar L-Rods which fit securely into the multi-clamp. I add another clamp to the opposite beam for the C-stands to rest on. This makes it super easy to load and unload C-stands from the cart. I can easily fit two to three stands on one side, but I'd be careful about balancing. You can also add more clamps to the opposite side of the cart if you want to load up more C-stands too. The clamps are incredibly strong so you don't have to worry about them moving around when you're transporting. With C-stands mounted to one side, I can easily squeeze through most doors. Total cost for the innovative C-stand clamps, $194. Total for this DIY hack, $64. Total savings, $130. Not to mention, you can repurpose these clamps for more accessories, which brings me into hack number two. This hack is based off of the first hack and uses the same clamps and configuration, but instead of mounting them to the far sides of the beams, I mount them to the short side. Now you have a tripod holder. You can mount tripods vertically if you have two tripods and want to save some space, but I like mounting mine horizontally. Total cost for the innovative tripod system, $480. Total for this DIY hack, $64. Total savings? $416. Oh, you smell that? That smells like saving. I love it. All right, hack number three, the side tray. I get stoked on these little things. Little, it's the little things that count. If you're looking for a little more desk space or a place to put smaller items, I found and repurposed this little bedside clamp on shelf that works perfectly with the cart. It's super easy to clamp on and remove and gives me more desk space. This one even has a little spot for cups and a little cord holder hooks. It clamps on by three thumb screws underneath so no tools necessary. It's a good spot to put phones, keys, a slate, or just little random things you don't want to lose track of. Total cost for innovative truff, $200. Total cost for this DIY hack, $21. Total savings, $179. All right, hack number four, monitor mount. I did end up getting the innovative monitor mount during a promo, but here's how I would do it if I wanted to save money. For this, I followed the same configuration and setup that Innovative does, but I found a couple cheap drum parts that work exactly the same. First, you need a couple of these multi-clamps. I mount both of these to a single beam, usually on the opposite side of the C-stand, just to balance things out. But on Amazon, I found this inexpensive VESA monitor mount that can fully articulate. Just mount the VESA tube into the drum clamps, and now you've got a monitor mount. Total cost for innovative monitor system, $460. Total for this DIY hack, $62. Total savings, $354. You just love that. You love to see it. Hack number five, camera mounting system. This is one of my favorite hacks because it makes building my camera rig so much easier and saves a lot of space on my desktop. It's a similar setup as a monitor mount using the same drum clamps. I use a 20 inch rack tube normally used for drum racks for Terry Bozio full senders. This tube mounts to the two bottom multi-clamps. A third multi-clamp is attached to the top. On the other end of that top multi-clamp, I mount a Ronin S or like a gimbal handle extension, which has a 3 8 thread on the end of it to add a video head. 
Right now I have a small 501 head which handles my heavier rigs fine. I'm not using it to do any camera moves or any tilts, so I just lock the tilt and it's secure. You can certainly add a beefier head to it, but this was just the only spare one I had. The bottom of the extension tube rests on the top of the shelf, so weight is evenly distributed and everything's secure and there's no tools required, which is awesome. Total cost for the innovative camera mount system, $610. Total for this DIY hack, $99, without the video head of course. But that's a total savings of $511. All right, I know I said five hacks, but I just saved so much money already and I'm feeling generous. This is more of an add-on than a hack. If you're a DIT, it's easy to run out of space when you've got a keyboard, a mouse, a computer, maybe some hard drives and chargers crowding your desk space. In order to keep things tidy, I found a little computerizer that allows me to set up my MacBook Pro on top. And this creates a little space for me to tuck all that stuff under. Keyboard mouse, drives, cables, chargers, put that all underneath that riser and it keeps it out of the way and making everything look neat. Super lightweight and it fits perfectly on the top shelf. The total for this add-on is $16. All right, now my favorite part. Let's look at how much we're saving by going the DIY route. The total cost to get all the innovative accessories mentioned in this video comes to about $1,944. If you went the DIY route, the total cost is about $310, and that's saving you a grand total of $1,634. Talk about balling on a budget. You can buy so many things with $1,634. You can buy a new camera, lenses maybe, lighting. Uh, you can buy a small swimming pool, tickets to Firefest. You can buy a dog. You can, you can buy, you can cover your taxes. I don't know, you let me know what you would buy with $1,634. Anyways, I hope you got something out of this. If you've got a production car, I'd love to hear any other DIYs that you've done. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. For more production content, follow me on Instagram at Kevin Reyes. A lot of BTS, rig picks, all that good stuff. And to rent this car and more, visit my share grid page and receive 15% off your first rental when you like, subscribe, and mention this video when booking. All right. Peace.